Hello and welcome back to the course of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video lecture, I am going to continue with the Unit 5 that is Electrical Installation. The topic that I am going to discuss in this video lectures are earthing, types of earthing, necessity of earthing and safety precautions for electrical appliances. So first let us start with the earthing and electrical shock that I have already discussed in the previous video lecture. Now nervous, how we can define the electric shock? Nervousness of human body due to sudden application, sudden passage of current through the body is nothing but the electrical shock. Electrical shock occurs when human body or object comes into direct contact of the current or source of the voltage which is high enough to force sufficient amount of current through the body. And the minimum current that a body can feel is about 1 milliampere. The electrical shock depends on the number of factors. First it depends on the magnitude of the current flowing through the body, then time for which, duration for which current is flowing through the body, then frequency of the current flowing through the body and finally physical condition of the body of the person. So these are the different factors on which electrical shock occurs. We have, I have already discussed about the element which is used to prevent, safety device which is used to prevent from the electrical shock that is ELCB. Another method is the earthing method and why earthing is necessary let us understand. So necessity of the earthing. So basically function of earthing is described as below. It is used to maintain the proper function of the electrical system. It is used to provide the protection to the person against the electrical shock. Now again it is also used to protect the large building from lightning also. It is also used to maintain the constant line voltage. Now to understand the necessity of electrical uh, earthing first let us understand two example one system is having earthing other is not having earthing so first machine is not having earthing so here you can see one electrical machine is there which is connected across a uh, single phase AC supply current is flowing through there machine uh, consists of two parts conducting part and outer body now between conducting part and outer body insulation is there and insulation material gets lose its property with the time with the atmospheric condition. Now one person is standing over here which is now touching. Now suppose uh, uh, insulating material lose its property. So now leakage current will start to flow through the body of the machine. Now person touches to the outer part of the machine that is the outer frame of the machine. Current will start to flow. Leakage current will start to flow from outer body to the person body to the neutral terminal of the system. So person can feel the shock in this condition and the earth electrical shock depends on the magnitude of the current which is flowing through the person body. Now taking the other example in which machine is now earth. So here you can see now outer body of the machine that is a frame of the machine is now given earthing. Earthing is done by some kind of cable, by, by some kind of material which is having a low resistance. Now suppose insulating material loses its property, so leakage current will start to flow to the outer body of the machine. And now suppose person, if in this condition, the leakage current will start to flow through the earth wire to the neutral terminal. So all the leakage current which is flowing through the out, in the outer frame of the material will start to flow in the earthing. Now if suppose person touches to the outer body of the machine that no current will flow because all the leakage current is flowing through the earthing material, earthing. So that's why per uh, person or human beings can be prevented. But suppose if person touches to the live part of the machine that is a conducting wire then current will start to flow through the person, human being body. And that's why in that condition not only earthing is required, earthing will not be sufficient but ELCB will be required that I have discussed in the previous video lecture. So now when overloading condition occur, so here you can see number of devices are connected on a single unit, single switch board. So there in this condition overloading can occur. Now or there are two types of earthing, earthing and how earthing can be done. Earthing can be done by connecting outer frame of all the electrical appliances or machine to a earth through a low resistance conductor as I told you. The conductor which we are using for earthing purpose should have a low resistance and we should have to make some arrangement that resistance can, can be decreased as much as possible. There are two types of earthing method, pipe earthing method and plate earthing method. So first let us start the pipe earthing method. So for pipe, uh, pipe earthing method, 4 meter pit is dug below the ground. 
so this is a ground surface and below the 2 meter ground surface one galvanized copper galvanized conductor is used galvanized pipe is used which is having a 38 mm diameter and that pipe is having different holes you can see here which is basically used to for water pouring purpose and diameter of that is 12 mm now around this galvanized pipe alternating layers of charcoal and salt are there which is of 15 cm by 15 cm so basically the function of this alternating layer is to increase the temperature or moisture or increase the area of the uh, galvanized pipe so that resistance can be decreased now above this cement concrete work is done and one pipe is connected with cement cement concrete that is nothing but the 90 mm gi pipe galvanized pipe that is connected with this uh, or uh, uh, pipe that is nothing but the 30 mm gi pipe now one cast iron cover is done over here for easily opening of the this cement concrete work and one funnel is provided over here for water pouring now this 19 mm gi pipe is also connected with other pipe that is a 12.7 mm gi pipe so this is construction of pipe earthing how pipe earthing can be done now which are the standard to be follow so as i told you pipe should a uh, pipe which is used as a earth electrode should be of galvanized material and according to the isi standard that is 732 960 the galvanized pipe should not be less than 30 mm diameter for ordinary soil but if the soil is dry and rocky then pipe should a pipe length can be increased up to 2.75 meters now here you can say 2 meter less than 30 mm diameter galvanized iron pipe is used now the depth at which pipe is buried depends on the condition of the soil according to the isi standard the isi standard the pipe should be placed at 4.7 75 meter again that depends on the moisture condition of the soil the pipe having tapered casting at the bottom is placed upright in the in that pit so here you can say it is placed vertically the charcoal as i told you charcoal and salt are filled in the in that pit around the galvanized iron pipe alternating layer are there uh, about 2 meter here you can say about 2 meter 15 cm by 15 cm alternating alternating layer of charcoal and salt are there the pipe has pipe place has a 12 mm holes you can see here which is drilled in it so that water poured from the top from the funnel can be easily spread into the charcoal layers through the holes to decrease the earth resistance so here you can see galvanized iron pipe is having 12 mm diameter holes so that water pouring can be done uh, and uh, earth resistance can be decreased the pit of about 40 cm square is dug in this soil now as i told you at the top cement concrete work is made for the production of earth pipe from the mechanical damage for the prevention of earth pipe from the mechanical damage and also to facilitate the water pouring arrangement for provision of dampness and that cement concrete work is covered by cast iron cast iron cover now funnel is provided over here you can see here the funnel with the wire mesh is provided in the concrete work so that water is put through the funnel in order to have effective earth area the pipe to which funnel is connected is further connected to the main earthing pipe so here one pipe is connected with the funnel and that is connected with the galvanized iron pipe now another gi pipe is connected with the pipe taken over here so another gi pipe is taken from the funnel to out the outer side and over here earth wire is connected so for the earth connection wire one 12.7 mm gi pipe is connected with the funnel and the diameter of that pipe should not be less than 8 as per swg as per the isi standard basically this is pipe earthing is used for the small application now which are the applications so it is basically as i told you residential area and commercial area it is used advantage is that it is simple in design easy to install in good soils now which are the disadvantages of pipe earthing method high impedance and it is uh, hard to install in the rocky soils now now moving towards the next earthing method that is a plate earthing method so in plate earthing method you can see instead of earth electrode instead of pipe one plate is used which is have which is made up of galvanized iron material and it is having a dimension of 16 cm by 16 cm by 6.35 mm and which is and for the plate earthing method a uh, pit of 4 m is dug below the ground surface 
Now in this case, as I told you, earthing is done by embedding a GI or copper plate in the earth sufficiently deep. And plate is vertically placed, you can see here. The size of the plates should not be less than 16 centimeter by 16 centimeter by 60.6.35 mm. In the case of galvanized iron plate or in the case of copper iron, copper plate, it should be 16 centimeter by 16 centimeter by 3.18 mm. The copper on account of its high cost is not now is not widely used nowadays. As I told you, a pit of 4 meter is dug deep depending on the soil condition and earth electrode that is a pipe is placed in such a way that it faces vertical. The space around the plate is filled with the layers of charcoal. Here you can say charcoal and salt layers are there. The electrode for plate is connected to the GI pipe of 12.7 mm diameter which is basically used for uh, and to that GI pipe to that pipe earth wire is connected. So this pipe is of 12.7 mm diameter GI pipe which is connected to the plate and with this GI pipe uh, earthing wire is connected and earthing wire is finally connected to the outer body of the machine. As you can see here now pit filled with the charcoal and salt layer is also connected with pipe of 19 mm GI here and the function of pipe is for carrying the water from concrete work and to the uh, from the concrete work to increase the dampness and moisture which ultimately reduce the earth resistance. And so this is nothing but the water pouring one cement concrete work is given and the cement concrete work is covered with the iron plate for periodic opening you can see here. It is better to have independent earth plate in the domestic application. So uh, this is different that of uh, pipe earthing method in which pipe use here plate is used which is of 16 centimeter by 16 centimeter by 6.35 mm. Again, plate is surrounded by alternating layer of charcoal and salt and a plate is connected with the one pipe that is 12.7 mm GI pipe and that pipe is finally connected with the earthing wire. Now this plate, plate is again connected with the 19 mm GI pipe for water pouring and that is that pipe is connected with the cement concrete work over here. here. And the size of the cement concrete work is 13 centimeter by 13 centimeter. Now, move, moving towards the application. So basically this kind of plate earthing method is basically used in industrial area. Generators it is used, transformers, so high voltage application it is basically used. It is also used in UPS. Advantage is what? Can achieve a low resistance contact in limited area and it is having a higher efficiency as compared to the pipe earthing method. Disadvantage is what? Uh, it is mostly difficult to install and should be installed vertically. This is one of the disadvantages of plate earthing method. So these are the two earthing methods, ply earthing and plate earthing methods I discussed and which basically depends on the type of application, type of voltage being handled and based on that plate earthing or pipe earthing can be used. Now the final one, safety precaution for electrical appliances. Whenever we are handling electrical appliances, whenever you are using the electrical appliances, which kind of safety precaution we have to follow. So the electrical shock are usually receive and can be easily avoided by being careful. This is the first thing. A great care should be taken against the electrical shock while working on line, high voltage line, whether it is a conduct, whether conductor is insulated or bad. Never work with the bare feet. It is better to wear rubber shoes while walking. In case of electrical shock, when victim is still in the contact with the line wire, which you cannot immediately switch off, insulate yourself on a dry wood or any other insulating material to release the victim. This is an, another thing you need to remember. You should always wear the safety belt while working on electrical pole or tower. The ladder should be, whenever we are using the ladder, the ladder should be always held by another person while working on overhead lines so that it may not slip away. And the phase or positive wire should be always connected to the switch uh, that I already told you in the previous video lecture. Switch is always connected with the phase or positive wire. Before replacing the blown fuse, when fuse uh, is blown away, so we should first switch off the main uh, main switch and then and then we have then after we have to replace this fuse before taking the table fence from one place to another plane or portable appliances from one place to another plane it is compulsory to disconnect it first from the supply do not disconnect the flexible wire of electrical equipment from the socket by pulling it out do not touch electrical installation without any purpose 
Overhead line should never be touched unless you are sure that it is dead or properly authored. Before starting the work, ensure that you are an authorized person to do that work. We should, if we are not authorized, if we are not having knowledge of that, we should not touch the electrical appliances. Do not temper electrical protective or interlock gear unless you are authorized and safety depends on good earthing. So always keep earth connection in a good condition. Always take necessary step so that we can have a good earthing. So these are the different steps, safety precaution, which we have to follow whenever we are handling electrical appliances, whenever we are working on uh, overhead lines, whenever we are using the ladders. So these are the different uh, safety precautions we need to follow. So this is uh, all about the today's video lecture. In this video lecture, I have discussed about the earthing, necessity of earthing, different methods of earthing, that is a plate earthing and pipe earthing. And finally, safety precaution for electrical appliances. Hope you have enjoyed the video. See you soon in the next video of the electrical machine. Thank you for watching.